widely acknowledged as one of the most insightful and provocative leadership teachers of our time, Dr. Lance Secretan is a powerful, dynamic speaker who will captivate, invigorate, and inspire your audience. Dr. Secretan is ranked as one of the nation's top 10 public speakers. As a best-selling author of 14 books on leadership and hailed by Leadership Excellence as one of the 100 most influential thinkers on leadership excellence in the world, Lance has inspired thousands of listeners with his wisdom and experience on how to inspire people and build great organizations. Great organizations are guided by a dream. This is true of symphonies, sports teams, it's true of any organization, even a family. The question we need to ask in organizations, and you need to ask personally, is what is our dream? What is the dream that is so powerful that people come to us and want to be part of that dream? It's a uniting feature. Frankly, if you have a dream, you can throw away all the theory because everything is powered by the dream. People will do whatever they have to do to get to that dream. What's your dream? I used to run a company called Manpower. Manpower. Uh, in the early days, a very small company, but today is the largest employer in the world. has over a million employees. And when I was running Manpower, I was really interested in hiring passion, not skills. I heard this referred to earlier in a discussion, one of the questions that was raised this morning. You know, do we teach people attitude or would we teach them task? Well, what we hope to do is hire attitude, to bring passion into the organization. That was what I was permanently on the lookout for. I wanted to bring people with passion in their hearts into the organization. One day, I met a helicopter pilot, and I interviewed him, and I thought, this guy would be a terrific addition to our team. And I told my colleagues about him, and they said, yeah, we agree. They saw him. They said, let's get him. Let's bring him on board. So we sat down, and I said to him, uh, we didn't talk about a small detail, you know, about what you're going to do here. What would you like to do? And he said, well, I'm a helicopter pilot. I said, yeah, I know. He said, I fly missions from the northeast coast of Scotland to the oil rigs out there. And there are a whole bunch of companies in that business. They're all small, they're all cowboys, they're all out of control and dangerous. I think we should pull them all together, make them into one successful organization, and be the best in the game. I said, okay, let's do that. Now, you understand where I was coming from. We didn't have a lot of helicopter pilots on our staff at that time. It was a bit of a, a jump for me. But it's what we did. We became the most successful company in that business. We're going to do something really different now. We're going to have a little art and a little music and a little wisdom all wrapped up together in uh, what I hope will be a connected kind of experience for you. The only trouble is she whiz. I'm dreaming my life away. Hey, 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 hey. Let me give you an example. How, how many of you are dog owners? A lot of dog owners. You ever notice whenever there's a knock on the door, your dog is always there first? Yeah. And it's never for him. <laughs> yeah. He said, I have a Model T, it's black, it sells for this, will you buy it? If they said no, Henry Ford said, don't worry, there are 25 other people who will. And in time, what happened, other car companies were established until finally, you may not believe this, but there were 2,400 car companies in the early part of this century. And they were all competing. And as a consequence, Henry Ford and all the others had to go to customers and say, what kind of car would you like? How can we make it better for you? Is there some service pieces that we can add on for you? In other words, marketing was invented. That was the beginning of what we know today as modern marketing. They were in the bottom 25% of patient satisfaction data, according to the Press Ganey annual survey of 600 hospitals. So they hired a man called Quint Studer from Chicago who came over to try and fix this, to fix the customer satisfaction problem. But instead of doing it the conventional way, what he did was he said to the employees, how can I serve you? And the nurses said to him, when we finish our shift, we go to the car park. There's nobody to take us to our cars because the night shift on the security department finishes at the same time. He said, no problem, we'll change the security team shift so they end at a different time and they'll be able to take you to the car. Next. They said, well, uh, you know, in the middle of the night when we're on the night shift, the canteen closes at 5 o'clock so we can't get a meal, a warm meal in the nighttime. No problem, we'll open the cafeteria through the night. Next. And he kept doing this over and over and over. And finally one day the nursing staff called for a meeting with Quinn Studer. 
I said, Gritton, we know why you came here. You've been sent over here to fix the customer service problems that we have here. But ever since you've been here, you've been looking after the employees. And we want a meeting with you because we want to ask you this. How can we serve you? Now let's talk about courage first. Courage. Nothing happens until we're courageous enough to make it happen. We can't change our minds, we can't say sorry, we can't ask for forgiveness, we can't love another person, we can't do something extraordinary, we can't win anything, we can't do anything until we're courageous enough to do it. What I'd like you to do is live the castle principles so well that the people that you lead look at you and say, I want to be like you. I want to be the kind of leader you are because I want to model myself on how you are. That's the finest teaching that you can offer, being the kind of person that you want other people to be. As a much sought after keynote speaker, Lance brings 40 years of experience to your organization. Among the many topics covered, your audience will learn how to reduce staff turnover by up to 50% and how to double your profits. As part of his keynote address, Lance will discuss how your organization can bring about cultural transformation through his revolutionary One Dream process. He will share how many Fortune 500 companies have used his ideas to identify their dream. He will also explain the rigorous process used to get there and how to create the culture and personal values that will realize the dream. Using his deep international experience as a former CEO of a Fortune 200 company, Lance brings a real-world perspective to his work. Perspectives that are radical, practical, transformative, and inspiring. Thank you for watching this video clip. I hope you found it inspiring and stimulating and interesting. That's what we'd like to bring to your audience. We'd like to be able to help your audience grow and stretch and be inspired. We'd like them to leave with new ideas, and I'd like them to leave so that they feel exhilarated by the message that they've heard, a fresh message that they've not heard before, something that will stimulate them into great action as soon as they get back to work. We've been doing this for a long time. We work with many great organizations, and I'd love to work with you.